punches and you're listening to laughs or else. I don't know what the R else is. I assume it's like crying. <laughs> The Laugh Rouse Radio Show has returned on WNUR 89.3 FM. I am Tim Aradichek, and joining me in the studio, as always, the lovely Mega Beth. Welcome back. And the Reverend <laughs> Dino Irish. Yay! Yo! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have my own cheery section everywhere I go. <laughs> These guys don't band that plays too. Oh my God, they're fantastic! You know, I mean, not they, as good as Conan's band, but they play electric jazz. Yeah. You know, oh, that is baller. They play. They play taps with their farts. You mean snaps? <laughs> yes, yeah, snaps. Oh, yeah, snaps. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's share the inside joke with the crowd, man. Let's not say we did. Yeah. All right, dude. It was. Tim it, it was confused. basically Tim looking bad. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Isn't that how the show got started? <laughs> series of looking bad. <laughs> Went to a radio school, didn't find a job in radio, so now I'm doing college radio and don't you and you are. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what, man? You got the call letters and it makes it sound legit. Double and you are. That was good radio voice. <laughs> it Finally busted one out. Voice. It's all it's all processors. See, he's the he's the news voice. I'm the DJ voice. All right, guys, ready to rock and roll right Play here on WNUR eighty nine point three FM. Stacks you wax hacks and the tracks. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know, what are you doing, Beth? Weenie and the butt. <laughs> oh, Weenie and the butt. <laughs> oh, look out. That wasn't a car crash. That was amazing. Oh, man. Dude, yeah, you really got that on, uh, you really got that on, uh, Trigger, man. Yeah. Shut up. He's got a hair trigger for a car crash. <laughs> it's the only sound effect I feel like finding right now. Oh, you know what, man? Find some more. I'll play the baby crying for you or the world's smallest violin. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even hear that? I'm playing it right now. Where where are you from that that's a violin? <laughs> I'm tone deaf. <laughs> tone deaf? Probably point at a box and say, yeah, that's a violin. It is a violin. A fiddle, as I like to call it, or roughly have memory issues with. No, you're thinking of fiddle in the sexual sense. What? Not diddle. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, well, since you wanted to weigh in, Beth, it is that time of the show. My favorite time. Donnie, do you know what time it is? What time is it? It's time for Beth's entertainment. To be oh, on. my Lord. And she is. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Amen. Beth. Hallelujah. Let me sanctify this from the words of De the Reverend Dino Irish right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Liz. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Are we going to get an amen right here tonight? Amen. All right. Enough of that amen. nonsense. <laughs> get to work. Well, speaking of amen, um, the new story going around this week. Wait, how does that tie in? Uh, well, we'll find out, I think. Well, maybe okay. you should listen. Open okay. up your ears and shut your trap. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that gets to interfere with that segment. Uh, Not you. Continue the interruption, Donnie, please. No. Best go ahead. Okay. Um, Josh Duggar. Are we familiar with who he is? Uh, nope. He's the father of many, many children. Uh, he only has three children. He's oh. the son, the oldest son of uh, the Duggars. I can't remember their names off the top. The Duggins? The Hacksaw Jim Duggins? I'm not even Hello! sure what that right. is. But blowing out speakers here, Doggy. <laughs> thank you. I thought I, I thought I kept it far enough away. <laughs> well, obviously not. Anyway, Jim Duggar. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Jim Bob. That's the dad. Jim Bob. <laughs> Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar. Sounds like a sophisticated bloke if yeah. I have Yes. It. Oh, yeah. They are um, of the TV show currently titled 19 Kids and Counting. Currently? 
Well, because it started off as 17, mm -hmm. and then they had two more kids. Right. Yeah. Uh, twins or one after the uh, other? No, one after the other. So what, these people have been on the air for two years at least? Uh, they have been on the air since 2008. Sheesh. Yes. <laughs> Yes. It's a social phenomenon. Yeah, uh, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. What do you mean after, uh, what, what the hell? Botch, uh, botch surgery. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, their kids, Josh, Jana, John David, Jill, Jessa, Ginger, Joseph, Jim Josiah, Jim. Joanna, jo Joanna, Jedediah, Jeremiah, Jason, James, Justin, Jackson, Johanna, Jennifer, Jordan, and Josie. A lot of J's in there. Uh, yeah. Too many. Yeah. <laughs> I would add. Uh, um, they, they sound Amish. I'm, I, I would have to say it. Oh, we know somebody who's Amish. Yeah, they called uh, last week. You were off. That's Cray Cray. Who's that? Uh, Jeff. Super fan Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, if you're out there, call the show, 847-866-9687. Yeah, I've been out, what did I say, man? I'm out of loop for one week, all of a sudden we have a super fan? Jeff, she called while you were here. Yeah, yeah, we'll, let, we'll let you listen to it later. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Jim uh, Duggan. Yeah, Jim, <laughs> Jim Bob Duggar. No, Josh Duggar, their oldest son, um, has been in the news the last few days for um, molesting four or five, uh, or five girls. Um, these all unrelated incidents? I, I'm not sure about that, but this goes back to when he was apparently 14 years old, 14 or 15. Um, uh, some of these girls are anonymous, but the others are his sisters. What? He <laughs> was, so is he, he's one of the 17 or 19 yes, and counting? Yes. Okay, so he's molesting his sisters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fondling them on multiple occasions while they slept. Oh. <laughs> and in a few cases while they were awake. They don't even have the balls to do it while they're awake. Yeah, well, that, uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently he did, which, you know, uh, kudos, I guess. <laughs> oh, I, you know, no, no. What, no. Like, I, you know, I mean, gee, I, you know, I mean, these things are not like unfamiliar in large families but it's like dude you know uh, just, because, just, be, just because just because they're there doesn't mean that you should <laughs> go out and meet some other women yes well they have these strict views they're they're very strict uh christians i i could not find what so there's no dating no there isn't they have what they call courtships <laughs> You can come over and play pinochle on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, that's basically it. They're, they're, you're not allowed to, you're allowed to like side hug. You can't do pretty much anything more than that. What until is a side you get hug? Is that, is that arms around yeah, each like, other? Yeah, like an I arm. boobs involved. You see, so you there's, no, there's no heavy petting? N not unless no you're Josh. No, no necking? No. <laughs> unless, yeah, unless you're siblings. <laughs> so, so his natural reaction is to go and bowling ball his sisters. <laughs> oh my... Word. Treat them like bowling the balls. visuals I just caught. Thank you. Stuff the three holes and throw in the alley. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he has resigned in his role. Uh, God, what is he? As son of the family. <laughs> oh, they they are independent <laughs> Baptists. I'm sorry, the, the independent Baptists. Um, I mean, they're always preaching on TLC. Oh, of course know. they are because they have to cover up their you know finagling, Mis misdoings. Yep. They're yep. bowling balling. Yeah. Their clown car vaginas. Their league night. Wait, what? <laughs> we call it, I'm going to call it their league night. <laughs> league night. Um, but anyway, uh, this this is. What do you guys think? Uh, well, is this? He's a weird Christian a, freak. Is, is yeah. this considered like pedophilia? These kids are underage. Yeah, but he he was as well, um, obviously. But I mean, it, when you're 14 years old, I I think you know better than to <laughs> you know, bowling ball your sister <laughs> yeah. yes I'm you know, yes. but I, you know but see the thing is too and you know what and see this is now see considering the family situation and considering what you laid out for me it, it, I'm, I'm hard pressed to think that at least maybe one or two of those girls weren't in the same kind of like age frame and maybe also weren't going through puberty themselves and being denied male companionship. Are these complaints? Maybe like went with their brother too, you know what I mean? Yeah, were they into it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Was, uh, was there some sort of, you know, you know because I mean, mutual I mean, look, agreement? you can't, 
you can't. <laughs> you can't shield kids from the existence of the Affection, opposite yeah. sexes, other regions. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, but um, his parents knew. Oh he, my God! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, he, he, first of all, this came. He admitted this. He came out with this story so well, he's not got a like, fall well he's got a fall guy because his parents do exactly and i mean you know yes this he is to blame uh 100 but his parents they knew about it um it took them a while his dad did turn him into authorities but um and then they sent him away to live with um the police sergeant or whoever um had taken the complaint or whatever you know whatever you call it um and so that he could uh, what's the word kind of counsel him but it turns out um first of all he only went away for three months and then he came back whatever um this police sergeant or whatever he is uh is now in prison for um uh child pornography <laughs> wait 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 the guy that was supposed to be like the mentor Yes. To the the offender. Yes. Okay. Took him under his wing and he's like, Hey, check out this collection of child porn. <laughs> yes. And I guess we will never know what happened there, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can Yeah. Uh, we, have made. yeah. we can deduct <laughs> yeah. what happened. He was the he was the star of boy fights. <laughs> <laughs> and by fights he means sex. Blood fights, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Blood fights. <laughs> but sex. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, so TLC has uh, gotten rid of the show. They oh, they ditched the whole show. <laughs> they did. Oh man, so now he's really going to be the outcast of the family, not for molesting the sisters, <laughs> but for taking no. away their income. That's, wait, that's... wait, did they cancel Honey Boo Boo after that guy? After like she was dating the molester child guy? molester. Yeah. Yes. Wait, they who, was, did. who was dating the child molester? The Honey... mom from Honey Boo Boo. Mama June. Mama June, gonna yeah. give her little sweetums, a little drink, drink. What is it, a sweet drink? Oh, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah. It's, it's Mountain Dew mixed with like Red Bull. Yeah, something like that. Oh. These people that they have on TLC. Granted, they get they get some you know entertaining shows. <laughs> you know what but... my folks watch now is that like the the home builder shows with the two brothers. Yes, I what love the those. Oh uh, 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 God. It made me think of something. Real carpenters don't wear khaki. No, yeah. that's true, and they they always just happen to walk in. Yeah. Oh, just finished. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, God, what are the those? Brothers. Yeah. The brothers the show. Property Brothers. Property. Yeah. I love that show. You oh just want to bang the dudes. Actually, I don't. Oh yeah, because they're not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> that was really racist. <laughs> no, if they were, if they were Asian, they wouldn't be the carpenters. They'd be the architects. Probably. That's true. Because they're smarter. We draw a blueprint for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I take you out now. Oh my That is a stereotypical. Oh. I go to where the rim machine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Call the show. 847 <laughs> Tell the Reverend Dino Irish whether or not you like his jokes. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, you. we haven't gotten any calls from black people. Last I week, highly doubt we're going to get any calls from Asians. Dude, last week the phone would not stop. On the really? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know, but I went to one call. Some asshat called us a shock jock radio show. If you're listening, asshat, call the show back. I'll put you on. Maybe we can share some laughs. Yeah, we can put you on the terror phone. <laughs> the what phone? <laughs> the terror phone. <laughs> What uh, is <laughs> he's still doing his uh, Asian guy. Oh well, I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to goad this guy. I mean, what do I got to say to get him riled oh up, man? God. I mean, good lord. Shock jock. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. So, Comedy is too shocking. Yeah, I put him on shocking. air, and the only thing he can come up with was, Ah! Scream like a little girl. And then hung up. No, oh, he was, oh, well, man. you know what? He was up that night, uh... Worrying about you know the fact that his you know wiener's getting smaller. I think, I think he and his, <laughs> his uh, frat brothers were playing elephant. Oh, he was a frat boy. <laughs> Probably. What what's elephant? Clue me in. Where they put each other's penises in their butts. <laughs> no, no, their hands. They they hold hands like. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Ah. Is that the one like between the legs? 
No, well, you could do it that way, I guess. <laughs> well, I heard frat boys, so I assume it's some blatantly homoerotic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because guess what? All fraternities are homosexuals. Whoa. That's Booyah. Not, that's not even cool to say on campus. <laughs> Good. Well, hey, they, I guess, you know, they shouldn't be, like, ragging on other gays then, huh? Uh, are you calling that yourself? said, the Laugh Rails radio show may say or play some inappropriate things. Here during the Freeform Hours on WNUR 89.3 FM. None of the thoughts and opinions shared by Donnie <laughs> reflect me or the Laugh Rails Radio Show oh. or WNUR FM 89.3. Or me. Or Mega Beth. <laughs> or Beth or Timmer. And, I, uh, you know. Yeah. Thanks for interrupting again, please. <laughs> well, Let I me hate. get through the disclaimer. <laughs> you, hey, you brought up my name. I was, I was making a stern mention. A. Of what <laughs> what I am referring to in my disclaimer. So we find this kind of talk and radio to be artistically and culturally significant. So if you don't like it, I guess that would probably be tough crap for us because students have more power than I do <laughs> at this radio station. Well, I guess now would be the time to tell everybody Cut that Donnie's mic off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be on the radio show much longer. No. No, no, no. We have uh we have uh certain things on the horizon. So oh, yeah, nothing you wanna disclose fully? No. Stop pussyfooting around it. <laughs> yeah, pussyfooter. <laughs> Listen. What I say privately and what I say on the air are Crab two different get things. Off the pot. So yes, I will be leaving the show in July. But he won't say why. No, I won't say why. <laughs> He's just going. I'm just going. He's vanishing into the night like Darkwing Duck. Yeah, so, you know, I, I will do my best to maintain the low standards I've set for the show <laughs> while I'm here. And I just hope that uh, you guys find somebody that's as disgusting and horrible as I am. It'll be tough. I yeah, know. It will be. I might I'm, have to put out a Craigslist ad. I might. <laughs> Oh, you, for a you stunt boy. Oh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sink a lot lower than Craigslist. Really? Oh yeah, I'm talking like Grindr? I'm talking like <laughs> I'm talking like paper flyer at the adult bookstore. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's where we gotta drum up some of the Oh like my lord, you you guys Glory Hole at the truck yeah. stop. <laughs> Glory hole at the truck stop, uh the you know, all you can eat get, ribs on get, Wednesdays. Yeah, then you know, have you seen that um, that that pile of uh, dog carcasses by the uh, rail yard?